I'm the owner of IRG Funerals Incorporated on Chapel Street and Earl's Funeral Home. This is, um, now we have a second office in Spikestown. Um, I've been uh, a resident of the St. Peter area, just living in National Hall for a majority of my life. And I've um, really had to traverse through Spikestown for a number of years. What really uh, is my issue, I and mean, Austin said it quite, quite clearly, a uh, number of points he made. But one of the things is that, the consultation. I believe that this this traffic diversion thing um, or one way. This is a suggestion that uh, I, myself and Austin, we have spoken about over 15 years ago about the possibility of trying to get persons back into Spikestown. We have a lot of people who come from all over Barbados to come into Spikestown to shop and things like that. I've said it at the town hall meeting. You have a lot of dying businesses in Spikestown, especially the the smaller businesses, smaller black owned businesses in Spikestown. They're, they're faced with high rents and stuff like that. The traffic that has come through Spikestown is, 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 is now down to a minimal. If you look around here now, you will see <laughs> pretty much um, Spikestown is like a dead, a dead, a dead town. Now, it is, it is really ironic that this traffic diversion has come now where we have seen um, a number of restaurants now coming, coming into Spikestown, especially on the Sand Street end, which the last couple of weeks uh, since that since those restaurants have been there, we've had traffic on park on Peepersons Park on the left side going north um, for a number of weeks. Sometimes when you come into Spikestown, coming from the north going into Spikestown, you can't you you have to wait because a person might be coming up. There's no policing of the area that Sand Street area where persons park to go to the restaurants, and it's quite ironic that this no traffic diversion has come where it's only one way traffic going north. Now, I mean, we, we can't be foolish about this. If persons are going north and only allowed to park for two hours, that means right. that that is convenient for those restaurants. That, that Those restaurants, well, pretty much they have their own parking lot now on the side of the street for two hours. That's the time you need to have a dinner, a, a, a dinner engagement at a restaurant. You don't need any more than that. Now, the question is now when it comes to the other um, traffic, traffic policies, Chapel Street. Uh, Austin mentioned before we have a doctor's office in Chapel Street. I have my office at the top of Ch Chapel Street. When you look at this proposal, there's only one entrance into Spikestown. Coming from the fish, the fish market where we are here, nobody has man, going south. There's only one entrance into Spikestown because if you come down Church Street, which is going to be a long way, you have to turn right. So you don't really go into Spikestown proper. To get into Spikestown proper with this new proposal, you're going to have to come in from the Queen Street Batali's roundabout coming in, or you might have to use, which most persons might be tempted to use it, um, the Archer's Road, which is a very narrow road. Archer's Road is a two-way road, but it's a very narrow road. And persons are going to be tempted to go down and come up through that road. So when you're coming in Spikestown now, uh, this new proposal, you're going to be coming in from the south. Now, why? You're going to bottleneck traffic coming from the south if only traffic coming from the south but you're going to have you're going to tell persons who want to go to jordan's or or or, or, or go to Savile, the fisherman's pub if they're coming from north they have to go all the way batalis if they're coming from south it's coming from batalis why that's the only entrance to interspace town now when you have traffic coming in now from chapel street if you allow traffic to come in from chapel street chapel street was a two-way for years you come into chapel street when you get to the Republic Bank, where the proposal is to be one way going north from, if you are coming to, from Chapel Street going to Republic Bank, you can either turn left to go to Jordan's or you can turn right. That will be another um, uh, vein to come into Spikestown, which would ease the, the traffic coming from the south. Now, these are the things that, that we would have had loved to point out to the, the ministry if they had the proper consultation. Since I've been here since now over a year in Spikestown, I never received any, any letter or pamphlet for any meeting to discuss this proposal. Only to hear that from the veins they come in now. And not only that, the roads have been already marked during the last couple of days. And we have never had any sort of consultation. I personally have never had any. I don't think Austin, who is a, a property owner, I don't think Junior Armstrong, who is a very prominent person in Spikestown, you can't have spiked stone without Fisherman's Pub. Fisherman's Pub is spiked stone. So to tell me that you're going to have changes in spiked stone, you don't invite 
a person like Junior Armstrong, uh, Jun sorry, um, uh, Clement, um, into, into a meeting to discuss anything or hear views, to me, that is wrong. It is not right that we should have to face this thing by the news. I mean, I saw it on social media. And to me, that is very, 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 that, that's a clear disrespect of the business persons in Spikestown. We need to have consultation when the ministry is doing such things. And I have to say this, our parliamentary representative for Spikestown, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed that we have not heard from him in this matter because Spikestown is the heart of St. Peter. You have Oystings, you have Bridgestone. This is Spikestown, this is Little Bristol. We had a launch in the other day of an international ship and nothing happened in Spikestown on that day. These are the things that we have to really speak out about. Why is that we, we cannot be involved in these, in these um, uh, uh, discussions? So for me, we need to come to the table. The ministry needs to come back to the, to the, person, the, the business person in Spikestown to discuss this whole traffic proposal because I know it is going to cause problems. If you have a at Dr. Goddard's office in Chapel Street. If he has an emergency, where is the ambulance going to come from? The ambulance can't just skip across. If the ambulance is coming from Arch Hall, they're going to come down Farm Road. If they come down Farm Road to get to Dr. Goddard's office, they have to go all around Queen Street and come back to Gordon's Alley to get to that daughter's office, which is just 50 yards away from the junction at Chapel Street and the Kiana Husband's Highway. Does it make sense? We have to have proper discussions.